Skull, and welcome my shield wall to the first episode of our new campaign for the old world mod of Total War Warhammer 3. I hope you're ready and I hope you're ready for some more Dowie action. We're a Dowie channel after all. The Old World is a vast sandbox campaign encompassing the lands of the Empire, Kislev, Norska, Albion, the Badlands, and much more. Open the objectives and it, it provides a very fine Total War Warhammer experience. So I am playing with the Old World mod. We are playing with a couple graphic mods as well as the tabletop cap, meaning when it comes to units, you can only have as many units as the rulebook allows. And you'll see what I'm talking about once we get into the campaign. So we are playing as the dwarfs today. The proud bearded folk who are quick to temper, often defined by a love of gems, gold, and other precious materials. The Dowie, the Kazalid, they're ready to fight. And the fight we have at hand is going to be a big one, my shield wall. Because the grudges must be settled. And... The Eight Peaks must be reclaimed! Belagar plots his campaign to reclaim his birthright, the kingdom of Carrick Eight Peaks, from the mines of Grim Peak. We start with an upkeep of plus 50% until we take Eight Peaks back. It starts with four Clan Angren Ancestor Heroes, which are pretty freaking strong. Unique building chain available at Carrick Eight Peaks once we retake it. Leadership plus 10 when laying siege or encircling, which will help us with that early campaign as we are trying to take holds and reclaim Carrick 8 Peaks. Attribute, we get Vanguard deployment during underway battles, and we get High King Decrees plus 1. For Lord Effects, Missile Block Chance plus 20% for the Lord's Army. Build a Mighty Oath Stone, which gives melee defense plus 24. And Leadership plus 10 when fighting against Greenskins, Ogres, and Skaven for the Lord's Army. So, this is a Belgar Iron Hammer campaign, and we are starting down here at around Carrick Eight Peaks. Our goal, our entire goal, will be to reclaim and rebuild our lost kingdom. It is a bitter legacy of hatred and resentment that Belgar Iron Hammer has inherited. For he is leader of the Angran clan and direct descendant of King Lun, the last dwarf to rule Carrick Eight Peaks before its fall. While the grand mansion of their people, a hold second only to Karaza Karak in terms of wealth and prestige was being despoiled. The scions of the former king labored elsewhere, shorn of home and honor. Many of the ruling heirs of Angren have attempted to reclaim their former glory, to avenge the grudges bequeathed upon them. Despite the weight of years and the hopelessness of the cause, when Belagar came of age, he made hold, oaths, and set out to recover his full inheritance. Belagar has since established himself as a master of subterranean warfare. On his orders, enemy probes are smashed, ambushes overcome, and infiltration paths blockaded. Yet Belagar is not content to sit behind his fortifications. Nay, and many times he has led assaults into the underhalls of his forefathers. There, from the shattered remains of his ancestors' tombs, Belagar claimed the rune-struck chunk of rock that now serves as his oath stone. It is said amongst dwarfs that his warrior skills are second only to those of the Slayer King, and that at will Belagar can summon the vengeful powers of his ancestors. Yet for all his victories, he remains embittered, vowing to one day reclaim all of Carrick Eight Peaks for his own. Kazakit, Kazakit, ha! As you can see, I am quite excited. We are playing on normal campaign difficulty hard battles with the AI modifier set to 0% because the old wa world mod really messes with a lot of that stuff and I'm not trying to get bushwhacked before I even get started. So, with all that talking and all that lore out of the way, here we go, my shield wall, and I will see you on the campaign map. Long have I fought and suffered for my people. So here we are, my shield wall. We're loaded in. We have Gulfk right here from the Ogre Kingdom of the Rock Skulls. Clan Angren, if you want to see how they play, you can look at this. As we use the underway, the Oath Gold, and the Grudges system. So we have missions issued. A direct and complete, we got Trom. 
mission issued the immediate threat and wants us to win two battles against the Rock Skulls. Race of Grudges, it wants us to capture and reclaim Karag Loon. It wants us to win four battles against the Crooked Moon. And it wants us to win five battles against Clan Moors. As you see here, down here is where the eight peaks actually are. Right now, we hold Grim Peak. That's all. So I'm going to be going to war with the Iron Claw, probably. Well, I don't know. They're kind of out there. I just don't know how we should start this. Maybe Iron Rock is up here. We can head east and then south. Or maybe we just beeline for it. There's Black Crag. It's held by Rotgut's Red Fangs right now. Lay of Sorrow, which we'll reclaim. So we can always go after the Rot Guts first. The Red Fangs. Let's get at Income. Trading Depot at Grim Peak. Hammer Fist. Get in there. King Lun. Get in there. We got a Thane, we've got a Master Engineer, we've got another Thane, and a Runesmith. Runesmith get in there too. Other Thane, we're sending you up. I want you to go find our kin. Because the sooner we find our kin, the better. So we've got a little army here. And you can see here what I'm talking about now with the allowment for different units based on the tabletop rules. So with this mod, you can only have 10 points of special units, 5 points of rare points, but when it comes to core units, which are the green diamond, we can have as many as we like. So right now, we have 4 points of special points, because we have 2 points for the hammers, and then rangers and rangers. So Belagar is going to dive on in. You have my hammer. We'll get started on the way of the guilds. And yeah. Belagar... Kick his butt. It's a de decisive victory, but I guess we'll fight this one ourselves. Just because I like to do that at the beginning of the campaign. Also, that way you guys can see what these ancestor ghosts look like and what we're going to be fighting with for this campaign. So I will see you in just a second. Grab your hammers, my clan England. We're going to battle. All right, shield wall. So we have a big cavern between us. So we're just going to pull back onto this left side here. We're going to hold this pass. Miners on the flanks. Dwarf warriors. Boom. Hammerers to reinforce the left flank as needed. Rangers. And then let's see here. So our master, our missile specialist, our master engineer will put you... Right there. That's how they look. They look re really cool with their spectral form. I love Clan Angren's Rangers. I actually have a Clan Angren Throng. That's my tabletop army. I have a Belagar's army. I am working on getting a unit of Rangers, and I plan on copying this color scheme with that nice blue cloak. And I'm really looking forward to that. Throny Iron Brew. Our... The port specialist, our rune smith, we'll put him right there, like his little horns. <laughs> King Lun, he's our melee specialist. He'll be right there in the front lines with his kin. Right there. Very cool. And then Belagar himself, leading from the front. Love to see it. How you doing, old timer? Let's write some grudges. There we go. Forwards! Love that blue. There they are, okay. True king! Move! 
Ross. Four words, Dowie. The clans unite. Forgot to group that. There we go. Revenge incarnate and mighty oath. The ancestors watch. Get off your boats, lads. Time to move. Vengeance. Ready. Kellogg. Will do. Attack the enemy. Blow it up. Get in there. Hold the line. Here comes the hammerers. Break some skulls. Gears of Zufbar. Contraptions here. Fight on! Dwarf warriors! There we go. Killed their lord. Fast forward through it. Yeah, I think that's everything. I think we're gonna catch him. A decisive victory to start the campaign. We deployed 574, we lost seven, and we deployed, they deployed 295, they lost 123. We smashed the rock skulls, and we are gonna move on to the next. Settlement. I guess I should grab Vallea's Sorrow and those other settlements there first so that we have a foothold to use. Or, I don't know, we could just go straight for Eight Peaks, the neighboring settlements. Oh, I'll have to take a look when we get back into the campaign map. I'm not sure what to do. Good kills. Sprinkled all around. Brought down those ogres. No problem. Oh, cool. That wiped the army. Gauge the enemy. Done. I guess we'll take at least Vallea Sorrow, since that was held by the Rock Skulls. Just auto-resolve that. Occupy. Rifle King, your kid entrenched you entrenched deep within Carrick Her and have received word of your grit during your expansion. They hail the Rifle King of the Eight Peaks and offer their loyalty and aid for your mission to reunite the Everlasting Kingdom. 
Spread the word, confederate, or take tribute. Oh, I don't know. Our income's not bad right now. We could just have them spread the word and keep them as allies rather than confederating them. Because I don't want to confederate them because they're so far away on the old world map. I don't want to have to worry about two fronts so far away from each other. But it would be nice to have that extra land. I think just spread the word. We won our two battles against Rock Schools. Let's see, where is Kara Kern? Can we even see? We can't even see them. They're so far away. They're way over here. Like up here. That mountain range right there. But I guess it's not that far, but it's farther than I would like Welcome to have to deal me. with. Hmm, I might end up regretting not confederating them. And you guys let me know in the comment section what you think. But that's what we're doing right now. True King of Lay a sorrow. Build a trinket maker. Lund's heir. Lund's heir. Lord of the Angron. Key dwarf settlement, so we'll take that. How strong are rock guts red fangs? The is in my they have four so settlements. Smack. So we could take West Death Pass, and that could be our foothold. Oh, the Rock Skulls held Westgate of Eight Peaks. That's our excuse in. We go take that back from the Rock Skulls, and we just keep taking land from the Rock Skulls. That will, that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep pushing. Get us up to 17. Two points for Belagar, Route Marcher, and Inspiring Presence. Spend two turns here replenishing. Get those done. Then we'll march on the Rock Skulls. All right. I will see you back for turn two. The end turns take a little while, so I'm going to try something new where I cut out the end turns for you guys so you get more just content. And then I'll also include things of like, you know, we get declared war on or anything like that. So I will see you for turn two. All right, we're back for turn two. The way of the guilds has just finished the diplomatic relations plus time with dwarfs. Got our two miners recruited, trading depot done, trinket maker done. So we're making 1294 a turn still, which is very good. By the king's command. And yeah, you're going to keep marching. See who you can meet. One more turn till we get those done. We'll be at 17 strong and I'll feel good moving forward. We'll go after Karag Zilfin. And that'll be us starting to move into uh, Realm of Eight Peaks. That is going to be interesting. Here we go, my shield wall. So what to build here? We're going to go ahead and upgrade the trading people to a trading warehouse. Plans, marching song, speed plus 10% for infantry units. That'll be good since we are rather slow with our little legs. And on we go to turn three, where we will march on the Rock Skulls once more. Kazakin, Kazakin, ha! All right, turn three, marching songs is complete. Our quarrelers and warriors are done. By my hammer, it will be done. You have my hammer. You have my hammer. You met the crooked moon. All right. Hammer fist. We're going to give you triangulation. Missile strength plus 3% for the hero's army. True king of AP. Ruin the iron brow. Ruin of slowness so we can debuff those Lord charging man. ogre bulls and things like that. King Lun. We're going to give you a foe seeker. Now we're going to do gather the throngs. Recruitment cost minus 10% for infantry. Make that cheaper since we are struggling with funds to start the campaign. That's just how it goes when you're Belagar. Got to reclaim your birthrights, all that fun stuff. Make 
Hello, Barakvar. You don't want to be friends yet? That's okay. Northern Confederacy almost wants to trade with us. That's a lot of money to trade, so no, 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 no. Not yet, Umgi. Not yet. Right. On to turn four. All right. Turn four. Trading warehouse is done. 772. All right. So our goal is to take Westgate. Then around Muzrin's wall. Garsnick's already getting a decent army. So yeah. We'll take Westgate, and that will be our foothold. Our struggle for eight peaks has already begun. Let's see what we can do, Shield Wall. Onward in the name of King Ironhammer. All right. So Stonebeard is moving forward. We're on turn five now. He's made it all the way up to Ackendorf. Long ways. It shall be done. Close victory. They've got a lot of bulls and a couple iron fists, but nothing crazy. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So, to battle, my Dowie, we're gonna take back Carrick Zifflin. This I swear by the ancestors. All right, my shield wall. So, we are loaded in. We've got quite the forest here for some reason. <laughs> And we are moving. I'm going to try and catch them at the pass. They've got a lot of bo ogre bulls, though. So we are going to have to be careful. Hers. Boilers and rangers. One. Forwards. Through the fields, Dowie. Though the vineyard be as tall as we are, we must press forwards. Shoot the Iron Fists. Debuff. Here we go. Get them all. Satisfy the grudge. Take them down. For the Kara's anchor. Drain them. Ready to strike. Fire on the foe. There we go. Your targets well. Yes, down. Vengeance. Understood, Lord. Get them ready. Axes out, lads. That'll do. Obey me. Get away from this. There we go. Ah! 
There we go. Let's start shooting. Rattle. Dolly, attack. The ancestors watch. King Lun, buff you. It is a reckoning. Miners, blow through. On up. Shoot the Wadhawks. Hit your targets well. There we go. Our fire undimmed. All right. Fire on the fall. Take them down. These ancestor ghosts help a lot. Go, Madawi. Slow him down. See if we can catch him. Kill him. Kill the ogre. The tyrant. Belly gut. <laughs> nah, I think he escaped us. A decisive victory nonetheless. Reclaiming our lost homes. We sent in 883. We lost 145. Belly got had 433, he lost 121, and then the garrison had 552, and they lost 195. So that was a decisive victory for us. Those hammers pulling their weight, 49 kills, 30, 10, 14, 11 from our range. They really helped with the big targets of the Ogre Bulls. They shredded those iron fists before they were able to do any major damage to our battle line, which is always super important to get those down before they break through your front line. So super happy that that worked out for us. We'll load back into the map and see what we got. Those ogre bulls. The good thing about the tyrants, or not the tyrants, but the iron hands is that they don't have any crazy armor or anything like that. So it is pretty easy to shoot them down before they get to you. And then the noblars, you know, they never hold. Decisive victory. Occupy that. Liberate the hold. We got a banner of swiftness, which is nice. Encountered the Black Spider, the Legion of Setup, and Clan Gritak. So we go for Karag Yar. Yar. The pirate hold. Lunze. Lunze. One more warrior. A blasting charge. Good thing they already had a barracks here. That's helpful. 1182 a turn. So our money situation isn't too bad so far. Belagar going to give you full plate armor and brass lung to leadership aura size plus 25%. Brony Ironbrow will give you... Ruin of Wrath and Ruin, make that explosion even bigger. Dremar Hammerfist. Flash Bomb. Flash Lunge. Charging Enemies. And then King Lun. Give you Ancestral Grudge since we will be going up against green skins here in the next couple of turns. So we're starting to carve a little hold for ourselves. Next goal is Karag Yar, so we hold the West Gate. Onwards to turn six we go. All right, the gods are angry. The omens are ill. I'll pay the tribute. We have 6,000 gold and we're making 864. Control plus four for all provinces. Let's do it. Pay the tribute. Gather the throngs is done. Recruitment cost down 10%. Miners and warriors are ready. We take Karagyar. It's the pirate hold. Her, her, fiddly dee. I'm a dowie. But mining is free. Auto resolve. 
Decisive victory, nice and easy. Occupy that. Karagyar is ours. We're gonna work on rebuilding that wall. Victory over ogres, leadership plus five when fighting against ogre kingdoms for Belagar Iron Hammer. We got the Dragonbane Gym, which gives us fire resistance 35%, which is nice. Archivist, research rate plus 10%. Student, research rate plus 10% for King Lun. Wow, so our research is gonna be great. The rock schools are no more. Huzzah, my shield wall. And we have entered into eight peaks. We have entered it. The west gate is ours. We are on the road to reclaiming our hold. Kazakin, Kazakin, ha! I'm guessing that the next thing we should go after is Morzan's wall and deal with these Skaven before turning our attention on Skarsnik and his filth. So let's recruit. Let's get... Two more miners with blasting charges put us at 19 out of 20. What? Belagar, we're gonna give you Axe Lord, melee defense plus four for miners, dwarf warriors, and long beards. Rooney, we'll give you pardon the armor. Hammer Fist, we're gonna give you Requisition ammunition plus 8% for our army. Our quarrelers will have plenty to shoot. So be it. Halkenhoff, we're gonna keep you moving up. See if we can find our kin. There you are, Karaza Karak. Hello, cousin. Bow to the throne of power. I will not bow. Not now, anyway. Back down here. So we're recruiting. King Lun, we're going to give you... Keeper of the Gate. That's cool. Ironbeard, Wanderer. But they're exclusive, so I don't know about that yet. But for now, I do want to do training. Unit experience gain is increased by an additional 10% for the army. That's awesome. So for Westgate, we're going to go ahead and pop in probably Masters of Steel and Snow, Empower the Guilds. Growth plus 15, construction cost minus 10%, tradable resources produced plus 5%. Because there is iron here and that growth will help us build up the walls faster and everything and it get that nice and strong since it is our foothold i want that to be a sturdy foothold heavy current stones is our next technology we will research take three turns it'll give us growth plus 10 and off we go on to turn seven all right we encountered the darkland bandits blasting charge is done yes we can reach garrick ryan all right so we found clan Gitrick. Declare war. Thoughts power is in our favor. His army's right there with Ono's Roxboro. Declaring war. Oh, decisive victory. Beautiful. Smash that. Occupy. True king. And that's a good start. Look at that. Half of Morzwin's wall. We'll have what, four of the eight peaks already. What? This is crazy. I'm glad we marched hard and fast for here instead of dealing with the uh, red fangs, like I thought. I think I think this is much better that we went down here first. Belagar. Ammunition plus ten percent. Sure. That replenishment. Met Karakazul. You always don't want an aggression or trade or anything. Come on. All right, then. We're on our own. We're making 1362 a turn, which is kind of surprising, honestly. Grudgeberry. Max us out. Go ahead and grab that other miner. Just a 20. And off we go to turn eight. Let's see what the Skaven do in response. A quest has been issued, mighty lord. Oh. A great adventure beckons. Be wary, though. Oh, the Shield of Defiance. The rewards are great. So too are the perils. All right, we'll grab that after we finish our war with the Skaven. 
Milica. They're raiding us, so we'll go back to Karag Yar. Actually, yeah. Stay in Karag Yar to get the control up as well as that replenishment. Swap you out for a dwarf warrior with great weapon. That'll be good. Yes. Alcan half. Now that we found Karak as Karag, I'm not sure where to send you. Send you that way. Go meet the Umgi, and we'll bring you back down south. There's Scarsnick. Okay. Mostly nasty skulkers. A couple night goblins. Nothing too crazy. One Arachnarok. I think we've got a decent little force here. We'll go on to turn nine, and we'll see what the Skaven do. All right. We are rolling right along. Income's looking good. One turn left on that technology. Away we go. All right, my shield wall. We have a new mission issued. Grow our forces. Dwarf warriors with great weapons done and the heavy kern stones. Scarsnick scared all... I think Scarsnick attacked them, actually. The Skaven there. So, Belagar... Yeah, he did scare them off. Okay, so we're gonna go for Karag Monar so we can take that. If Scarsnick takes Karag Monar, we will attack him. Eastgate is held by Karag Azul. Good allies. Alright. Good to know. Our force is looking pretty decent here. We should replace the miners probably next turn or so, but maybe next episode we'll get to replacing them. For now, they will fight for us. Vanguard proficiency, armor plus 10 per uh, coilers and ranger speed plus 15%. That could be good. So let's grab that next. I feel like that could be really helpful. We met the western provinces because their trade caravan showed up. And... Once we have this province secured, I'll feel safe enough to do that quest battle. But for now, we need to make sure we're using this resources wisely. I don't want to be jumping into quest battles to come back to get waffle stomped by some Skaven slaves or something like that. Looks like it's mostly slaves and clan rats. We could handle Ono just fine. But I'm trying to beat Skarsnik. To the settlement. All right, so we're going to play one more turn here today. We'll play the first 10 turns. Non-aggression. Yes. Eric Azul, you and me, buddy. Let's trade. All right. Western provinces. Let's trade. But for you. Good. Northern Confederacy, let's trade. We may not be Good. We've got trade going on, and that gets us almost up to 10k. Interesting. In the name of the Dragon Emperor, I bid you welcome. Sure. We make our ancestors. That'll be good. Making fifteen fifty six a turn. Come back over here to our little war. And let's see what the end turn brings us on the turn ten, my Dowie. So it looks like Scarsnick attacked them and we can support them. I'm going to decline to help them so that Scarsnick gets hurt as much as possible. Because we're going to go in and attack Scarsnick as soon as we come back. Alright, Madawi. Turn 10. Last one for today. Flooding at Grim Peak, unfortunately. So if we're down here at 8 peaks, Scarsnick yeah. did take it. He took, like, no damage doing so. 
So I guess our war on the Crooked Moon starts a lot sooner than I was expecting. This might be a bad idea. Maybe I should take the other settlements first. We consolidate our powers. It's mostly Skulkers. You know, uh, tell me what you think in the comment section, but we're going in. They're strength rank three. This could be a terrible decision. Pyrrhic victory, it's saying. No, oh, lots of night goblins in their garrison already. Goblins. This is mm, frustrating. Okay. Luckily, there's five breaches, so they don't really need... We could just go in. We'll just save here. And this is where we'll stop for today at the Siege of Karagmonar. Let me know if you think we should just go on in, or let me think... Let me know what you think of the decision to attack Skarsnik. I love seeing your comments. We encountered a couple more factions, but the war for eight peaks is raging. We hold three of the eight peaks so far. Karagloon is our ultimate target to reclaim our lost capital. So we'll have to see how that works. We're sieging down Skarsnik. We do have our little foothold here at Vallea's Sorrow and Grim Peak. We'll have to see how that works out for us as well. But things aren't looking too bad off the start after today's first episode. It went kind of better than I was expecting, honestly. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that since we had 11,000 uh, Karig Yar. So we're on turn 10. And we have three turns left on our technology. I think we'll probably just attack next episode and not wait for the Siege Towers. Since there's five breaches, I'm not sure that we need them. If you guys think we should wait for them, let me know in the comment section or let me know what you guys are thinking. But thank you so much for joining me for this premiere of our Clan Angren campaign on the Old World mod. I hope you enjoyed episode one and I hope you enjoyed the new style I'm doing this. Uh, if you have any advice or tips, tricks, anything at all, leave that in the comment section down below for me. I